G'day folks, it's a beautiful Saturday and I'm going to take you on a ride to Canago Pub. Thank you so much for joining me. It is very much appreciated. So why are we going to Canago Pub, you may ask? Especially this early on a Saturday. Well, Canago Pub's pretty well known around these parts. You see bumper stickers for them all the time. But unfortunately, back in 2014, old Canago Pub burnt down. There are tons of pubs in the town that I live. And Canago is not in town, so to speak. So why is it so popular? Or was so popular? So the town I live is pretty big by Canago standards anyways. I live in a town of about 8,000 people. And I'm not entirely sure how many thousands of people live in the district of Canago, but it's definitely less than 8,000. And that includes the surrounding farmlands and everything. So, yeah, pretty small place. They didn't have too much industry to rely on except for stock, cattle, farm, grain, you know, that sort of stuff. But the pub was something pretty special. It attracted people from like all over, including interstate, and apparently it was quite raucous in its day. It's had a few proprietors in its time, but one bloke named Neville, he was apparently the bee's knees. Everyone loved Neville. He was a well-known proprietor. So as I said, it's been burnt down since 2014 and it's still being rebuilt. There's a couple of reasons for that, most of which is money. Second of which that it's hard to get stuff out here to build things, especially during the pandemic. As a result, canago has been pretty quiet ever since. There's not really a reason for people out of town to come here.
like and I'll get it. Thanks to you.